Welcome back guys. Today we're talking about Fubo TV stock as it's pretty interesting down 11% on the first trading day of 2021. So I'm going to be giving my thesis on why it's falling and why I'm not worried about this fall. And what's the market looking like today? I mean, the market is down 549 points. So that's also one reason I'm not worrying. When the market's down 549 Points, you're going to see small stocks, small cap stocks like Fubo TV, uh, the market capitalization of 1.6 billion, fall a lot more than a stock like Apple, which is 2 trillion, which fell around 2%. So if Apple fell 2% today, Fubo TV is just being oversold, in my opinion, today. And there's been no, uh, there's been no news from Fubo TV and their management about the stock. It's just people want to lock in their profits and want to get out. And as the sentiment cutting gets negative and the momentum is kind of going down on Fubo TV, down over 60% in over in just two weeks, people want to lock in profits and now they think that Fubo TV is going to crash. And everyone's uh, starting to publish like bearish st st statements now. And they're saying more and more bad things like you see the Motley Fool saying there's a big problem with Fubo TV. So everyone's giving their short selling ideas on Fubo TV. And when it was going up, no one was talking about the stock being garbage or anything. And all of a sudden now the stock starts to fall and people start publishing all these negative news. So that's one of these things that happen when stocks start to fall. And... I think this has been one of those oversold stocks and you can see down 12% today. There's been no news from the company. I know the company has run up quite a lot. As you, if you can see, it went, it's still up 151%, but they have quite a lot of high growth. The company's still a loss making company. So if the company is able to turn profitable in the next few years. That's uh, definitely a, a value in this company I see. And they have currently around 500,000 subscribers. Uh, 450,000 subscribers, I believe. I made a video last time uh, discussing about their statistics, statistics and um, they're trying to get more fall subscribers for the fourth quarter. And they gave a quite a bullish um, guidance for the fourth quarter. And they're expecting a lot of users to come in in the fourth quarter. So there is quite a lot of growth factored in Fubo TV. So I, in my opinion, I'm bullish on Fubo TV and I think they can achieve that growth. I think um, a cable network in the future is not the best thing and you want to have something to do with the internet and online streaming like Fubo TV and cancel out all the wired networks basically in your house. So the, the your average revenue I discussed last time was $60, which is a lot more than Netflix. Uh, Netflix, they paid $12. The only thing is Fubo TV has only 500,000 subscribers, whereas Netflix has 70 million subscribers. So the company's pretty small, 1.69 billion. The valuation's quite low. And if they can get this growth, I think this is a good price, $24 for Fubo TV stock. Um, and the only thing is that the stock's in a downwards momentum. So there's there's probably a support around this 2024 20, mark, in my opinion. And the stock's only going down today because of the Dow Jones falling 550 points, which is quite a lot, guys. It's not falling this much since a month. Uh, if the sell-off continues, I can see Fubo TV probably falling another 10% down. So if you're buying Fubo TV right now, the fundamentals is more related to the market. If the market kind of becomes positive, like the Dow Jones is positive, Fubo TV can start a small recovery. And also the $8 price target, which... Fubo TV received. I kind of got my mind into it, and I asked myself, why would Fubo TV give it eight get give it get an eight dollar price target? Well, that was because of their lockup period expiring for Fubo TV, and uh, the owners could kind of sell their stock. So the guy thought that, oh, this is a good time to short sell Fubo TV. I can publish my thesis, and it will go down. And it did go down. I mean, it did go down a lot. So this guy would have made a lot of money. But at this point, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure that most people are going to start thinking about buying Fubo TV at this price point. The thing is, it's run up so much that people are scared of it now. And they just want to leave the stock and go to some other stock. So it's all about the momentum, in my opinion, if this company can find out more news. And by the way, they did release this news about the sports wagering, which took it up, which took it up 100%. And people seem to have just like forgot about it now. And I, th I think it's a really good thing that they're getting sports betting into their systems. 
And if people think about Fubo TV as a place to go and watch sports, all these different ty- types of sports, I think it will be great. Uh, the competitors are Hulu. I discussed this all in my previous videos, so go check that out. Um, I'm, I'm afraid that's it for this video. Uh, Fubo TV is at $24.71. I did recommend it at $13, uh, $30, so that was a bit high from right now. But I'm still pretty much bullish on Fubo TV. So thank you guys for watching this video and uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh,